I'm Dylan Hillhorst. Um, my wife and I, Emily, we're contract milking uh, on a family farm here. We're milking just over 700 cows, uh, on just over 260 hectares through 44 uh, side herringbone. We are pretty lucky to uh, be able to put meal feeders in this season. We went with a fixed auger, we bring all our own feed in. Yeah, it's pretty simple, we've just got it set in two different bunkers and we can load it up when we need it. We're not having to wait on auger trucks. Uh, we've gone with a mineral dispensing system. Uh, we run uh, you know, different sorts of minerals at different times of the year. It's accurate, you know each cow is getting that amount. Cow flow has been a bit of an issue in the past in this shed. We've gone from someone probably spending a fair amount of their milking in the yard to never walking out of the shed until after milking. Also, they love coming to the shed because they know they're going to get some treats. Uh, the cow flow out is, is great as well. We've used meal feeders in the past, running a different feed system. Um, yeah, little niggles all the time. I sort of found I was on edge, uh, that things weren't going to quite go right. The reason we went with PPP is uh, yeah, pretty pretty positive around the area and about their product. Um, yeah, it's a good, simple system. It's just smooth. Uh, I don't have to be constantly thinking at the back of my head, hopefully uh, that's going good, that's going good. Yeah, it's, it's easy for the guys to use, understand. Cows love it and we love it and the staff love it, so yeah, it's good. G'day, uh, Matthew Story, and I'm a shoemilker in Cambridge. We milk 320 cows, and we've been in Cambridge for seven years for the same owner, um, Cass Industrial Trust, and this is our second farm that we've moved to with him, and this is our second system that we've put in of PPPs. So this is all the, the newer system. We had the older system beforehand. Uh, we're just finding the newer system that's um, a lot more robust, uh, a lot stronger with the, the droppers and a lot more clear with the boxes and easier to adjust. So one of the main reasons why uh, Morris and I decided on the meal feeding system was um, profitability. Uh, you know, the cows, they're probably going to do another 50 to 100 milk solids more a cow per year, depending on what sort of brew you use. Um, the, the first farm that we went to, the best that they did off there was 60,000 and we did 80,000 the first year and pretty much consistent 80. And so this new uh, new farm that we've gone to now, they've done about 110,000 and so we're on target for 140,000. You've got to put it down to the meal feeders, you know, they really pay off. We really find it quite simple. For this share we've done just the one handle at the end. So it's just nice and simple. The relief milkers are not getting confused with um, having two handles set up. In the old shed, where it was just a one, one person unit, um, the, the cows aren't just stuck out in the yard and the relief milkers not having to go into the yard. The cows are just, you know, they're happy to come in and flow in. In the springtime, we find uh, it's really easy to break the heifers in. Um, we don't even bother running them through the shed. We just bring them straight in and pull the meal feeder and, and you know their heads down and they're occupied, we just find them easier to row up. For all our minerals, we just find that every cow can get their right amount of daily you know magnesium or zinc, um, especially zinc we find that that's quite important for each cow to, to have the daily zinc dosage spot on, whereas you know if you're in the water or, or uh, in the maize bins, each cow might get a different amount of zinc. So yeah, especially this time of year, you know, we can run flavoring with the zinc. So that the cows just come in, they heads down they, and they clean it up. I mean, the, these bins are spotless. I think we've water blasted this system once in the whole year. And um, yeah, it's, it stays pretty clean. Yeah, in the springtime, uh, we have uh, molasses in with it as well um, for extra sugar. And you know, on a cold, shitty day, you can feed anywhere for the five kilo, and they'll clean it up. So we really find uh, in the spring, you know, you can send the cows back out to the paddock, and, and they're pretty happy. And the weather's all right, well, you can still feed meal. And um, 
knowing that they're not going to drop too much. We've been really happy with the system and it's reliable, so that's why we chose to stick with uh, PPP. And price wise, they're the best by far. We quoted up some other um, companies and they were, you know, more. And uh, yeah, really good support as well. So bang for buck, you know, you can't go past PPP. My name's Wayne Hutchings and I farm uh, 30 minutes south of Rotorua in a little settlement called Nakuru and milk 230 cows on 90 effective hectares. The system was installed in 2015. It's been in for six years now and PPP come in and have done a great job. Pretty much with the gain in production um, and after cost is about less than 18 months to pay off that capital expenditure from the install just because purely return on investment was done by the increase in production. I've spent no more on imported feed onto the farm, but coming to the shed and I've upped the production from um, 400 to 420 kilos of milk solids per cow up to 500 in the last couple of years. Uh, and as I say, going to blends rather than the old days, I used to use a bit of maize silage at shoulder ends of the season and filled the gaps with palm kernel. Um, so the, the, that myth, and I've done all my figures, has actually been blown out of the water because my profitability now, since the in-shed feeders, has more than, um, has gone up. Um, and it's, it's definitely a, a plus plus. It's a win-win for, for everyone. So I'm, I'm enjoying that aspect of it. It's sort of given me a, another lift in farming for 25 years. It's given me that next level and I'm actually enjoying being able to get the production out of the cows that I know they can do. And um, great system, very happy with it. I'm very happy with the choice of going down that path um, of an in-shed feeder. Thank you.